practice. Jason Shepard, fresh off one of those Shep Arms workouts, spoke with <laughs> BYU sophomore linebacker Harrison Taggart and discussed the challenge of preparing for a team like Southern Illinois and the prospect of two different starting quarterbacks. Here is that conversation with Harrison Taggart. Harrison, game week, it's finally here. So many practices in the in the offseason are now done and you're focusing on one team. How much more intense have the practices been now that you've got a team you're focusing on? You know, I don't know if intense would be the word, but dialed in. Yeah. Um, having a common goal that we're all working towards. I mean, we're always working towards the same goal and the same team, but instead of punching each other in the face, we really get to look forward to hurting somebody else on the end, end of the weekend. How much we always hear players talk about, I'm just so sick of hitting the same guys every day. How, how much of that honestly drains on you guys during fall camp? Dude, I, at the start, it's fun. Like, you haven't played football for so long, you know what I mean? Um, but then it gets really repetitive, hitting, hitting your brother, you know what I mean? Like, you're in the same locker, you're camping with the same dude. Like, it gets really repetitive, but we've, we've got an amazing locker room and, you know, like I said, all of us have, have the same goal at the end of the day. So we really, we all go as hard as we can and we're all just here to make each other better. What is this group like? And we'll focus obviously on the defensive side for the most part, but what's, what is this defensive group like this year? Cause I'm assuming every year you've got different group of guys. And so you may have a little bit different personality. What's this year's group like? You know, this year, this year's really, really fast and physical. Um, and really tight. Um, I've noticed that the brotherhood component from this year is, it, it's amazing. When you look at everything that you guys have done leading up to getting ready for this week, how prepared do you guys feel to, to play a game right now? I think we're really prepared. I mean, we have, it's Tuesday. We've got the rest of the week. Um, and Coach Hill, we're, you can never watch enough film. You know what I mean? It's as many mental reps as you can get in. Um, so yeah, we're, we'll be there. I want to ask you this sort of in a two-part question. You personally, but then also the defense as a whole, how much more confident do you guys feel in this system under Jay Heal in year two? Year two, it, I mean, last year we were all still like, I, I was new last year. I was a transfer last year, so I was new, brand new. Um, but most of these guys, they've all, they've been here at BYU and it's, it's a new defense, it's a new system. Um, so really learning the ins and outs of the, of the defense this off season has been huge for us. You know, taking that one step further, you know, Coach Hill and his scheme and what he wants to see out of you guys, is there something that you feel like there will be an obvious difference that fans will see in the defense this year versus last year? Is there anything that, that kind of comes to your mind with that? Uh, first thing that popped into my mind is connection. Um, really just like somebody makes a play, like it's not just that person's play. It took 11 people and then really like 120 people to make that play. Um, so just playing with your brother. How about uh, the, the linebackers in general? How, how's that group looking specifically? I, I, love, I love our room this year. I love the linebacker room. Um, I, I think we have an amazing room. I'm excited. So you guys have like one guy's the jokester, one guy's the serious guy. Like where would you fall in the linebacker group if we're, if we're going with stuff like that? I, I don't know. I think, you'd have to, I think you'd have to ask the other guys. I, maybe they'd say crazy. I, I don't know. <laughs> that you would be the crazy one? Maybe. I, I don't know. Is there a jokester in the linebacker room? I, I kind of think our position group's a little bit hard to have a, a little bit of a jokester just because we're running the whole defense. So we have to be locked in. Um, I think our, our room's pretty serious and locked in. Okay, well, let's talk about that in terms of running the defense. Now, it has not been determined who is going to be the one player on defense that is going to be able to have the communication, because that's a, it's a new rule in the FBS this year that, um, that one player on offense, one player on defense will be able to have communication with the sideline to be able to call in plays, whether it's offense or defense. Uh, but you have had some experience in practices being that guy. What has that been like? It, it's been really interesting. So like communication, it's a headset. It's really just a microphone set that's in our helmet that the coaches are talking to us. We can't talk to the coaches. The coaches can only talk to us. Um, but defensively, I felt like we've been able to speed up a lot of things instead of looking for a hand signal and waiting for, for stuff to get going. The coach is just saying a word and we're, we're set, ready to go. Um, but it, it's been cool. It's been really cool. And with the iPads on the sideline, it's, it's been cool too. So take us through then what the process is. The play comes in, then are you yelling out the play or whoever is doing this, or is it a, is it a hand signal? H how are you delivering the, the, the play? 
anything to get it out. I mean, I have people on, I'm on one end of the field and somebody's in yeah. the far corner, they're not gonna hear me. So a anything, everything. You know, and, and this is one of those situations where whoever gets that, obviously there's a lot of responsibility on that person's shoulders. Just the fact that even in some practices, you've been looked upon to be one of those guys that may get that opportunity. What does that, what does that mean to you and, and whoever gets that responsibility? You know, I'm just, I'm just excited for the role that the coach has put me in and just, just blessed to be here. All right, let's talk about the uh, Salukis. Uh, it's week one, and there's always so many new things about week one. And, you know, you're, you're kind of going off a lot of film, maybe from the year before and a lot of new personnel. First of all, what do you know about this Southern Illinois offense? You know, we're, we're expecting them to come out hungry. I mean, they're out of the last two years, they've beat Northwestern, a FBS team. They've beat F or they've beat NIU, a FBS team. So we're just we're just ready to come out and expect them to come out hungry and ready to go. Yeah, I believe uh, they've, in three out of the last five years, they've beaten an FBS team. So this is a team coming in with a little bit of confidence in scenarios like this. Now, they're in a very similar situation to what you guys are in on offense in terms of they're not naming a quarterback. They've got two guys that, uh, that they're battling between. In terms of the preparation, how have you guys handled it? Is it just kind of focusing more on what you guys do in your scheme, or have you been practicing the, the two different styles that these quarterbacks may bring? How have you been handling that? You know, it's just definitely just focusing on our scheme, um, making sure we're playing with the right fundamentals, making sure we're playing our job, um, doing everything right, just keeping our details clean. One of the other things about this year is obviously it's year two in the Big 12, and um, last year everything was new, and you know every week was a new challenge, and you're, you're sort of getting indoctrinated into what it takes to play in the Big 12. How much more prepared do you guys feel he heading into year two, having a year under your belt? It's it's been really cool. That first year was it was it was something different going into the Big 12. All the sports are adjusting to a Big 12 conference schedule. Um, this year we we know what to expect, and and I think we're ready for it. I, I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for this season. How crazy do you expect Lavelle Edwards Stadium to be on Saturday? I mean, it's, people have waited a long, nine months waiting for this game to get here, and I'm sure you guys are the same way. What type of environment do you expect on Saturday? Oh, we've been waiting way too long. I'm excited for Lavelle Edwards to, to be popping off on, on Saturday night. So I'm excited. Harrison, thanks for the time as always. I appreciate it. We'll give you the uh, BYU Sports Nation karma to take into uh, to this game, and uh, we appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me.